hi how are you today okay that's enough i don't care about you so let's stop talking okay um i don't know if you'll believe this or not i mean i think you will because all i do is rant about men on instagram and now youtube but the guy that i'm talking to at the moment hasn't replied to me it's been 2 minutes and i'm really upset i'm i'm very pissed um so i'm going to give myself a new look because it definitely can't be my personality like i think i think something's lacking in my looks so for the makeover what i was thinking is you know like what i envisioned um i thought i'll do something mind blowing something extraordinary something never done before um actually yeah it's it's been done before it's uh i'm just going to change the color of my hair and give myself a haircut because um that's all i know how to do i don't know how else i can glow up so i'm just going to stick to that so since none of the brands that are we using today decided to sponsor me i'll not mention them in this video because i mean why should i um actually you know what let's scratch that i will do them a favor and i'll give them a free shout out because i'm such a nice person i love giving back to the society i am extremely charitable uh, a philanthropist um uh can anyone help me with the adjectives uh, i can't think of anything else right now i'm beautiful oh no beautiful to nahi hai wana reply aata okay um okay if you think of any adjectives just comment them below so the filming for this video will be a little different there will be a voice over rather than me talking because i can't hold my phone and talk while i'm coloring my hair so you guys just have to deal with that being the broke bitch that i am i ordered the cheapest conditioner i could find on swiggy insta mart and since my hair is naturally curly i already had this deep treatment mask by can do and since my hair is super super damaged because of all the bleaching i always mix the dye with some hair mask or conditioner and you are more than welcome to use any conditioner or hair mask that you feel like using as you can see i ordered myself the purple shade from paradise and also the crinkle violet So I'm working to get my hair back to normal now. But before I get to that, please watch me act super middle class Indian and making sure I don't waste any product. Anyway, I only color my hair using natural, vegan, chemical free, and all that good shit kind of hair dyes now. Now I don't know why anyone would want to listen to how I do this because there's no reason why anyone should trust my eyesight. Seriously, what do I see in men to still continue to talk to them? However, I just eyeball how much I would dye. I feel like mixing, and this time I majorly only added purple and very little of crinkle violet. So I didn't like the original consistency, so I just added more things here and there, and then mix it just the way Kardashians, you know, get their babies mixed. So usually what I do is I section the bottom part of my hair and put that in a hair dye. and i start coloring from the top of my head but since this time i wanted to do something a little different which is why i'm doing like the opposite like i tie up the top of my head and i start from the bottom okay see typically if you were to ask me i'm a huge advocate for protection but when it comes to dyeing my hair i just raw dog that shit and i hope i hope my hands don't get stained and i have to go out in public and meet people with stained hands that look like i just gave thanos a hand job so we all know how many times i've colored my hair and gotten it bleached but i had never lost my curl pattern or actually damaged to it like beyond repair until the last time i got it bleached so let's look at the timeline of the number of times i got my hair colored and bleached in the past two years i got my hair bleached in november 2020 and i went red continued coloring my hair you know with red box dye every time it faded to that ugly ass brown and then in august 2021 i decided to go all out right before my birthday bleached my entire head so that i could get blue and my curl patterns were like still very intact and my hair wasn't that damaged and i went to get my hair bleached by the same guy every single time and i think i no wait i know he probably fell and hit his head and lost all of his memory because i can't think of a single reason as to how he could forget to bleach someone's hair i went in for a session in december of 2021 and now when i say he left my hair looking hot I mean literally I had steam coming out of my hair my hair was this steel color that I wanted to get rid of because it's that ugly as green that comes after blue and it never leaves and which is exactly why I wanted to get my hair bleached but my bestie just over processed my hair now 
I watch Brad Mondo, so I know my shit. By the way, if I'm in his reaction video, hi. I remember sitting in the chair and it honestly felt like my hair was very hot and it had only been like five to seven minutes since he applied the bleach. And I called out to him and I was like, um, my hair feels a little too hot. Can you check under the foil if it's okay? And he said, yeah, it's supposed to be hot. So, now since I don't have the best radar to tell when a man is gaslighting me, I just sat there quietly for another 5 minutes. Now, at this point, I had the foil burning the back of my head and I swear to god, it was chatka lag tha. And I was like, bro, it's giving me chatkas, can you check this please, like what's happening? And when he took off the foil, at this point, my hair started giving me chutkas and it had steam coming out. It looked like some very cheap version of Medusa and he instantly like washed off my hair and it was in this horrible state where if anyone pulled at it a little too hard, it could possibly like snap off. Anyway, after all this, he still had the audacity to charge me a bomb and when I told him, huh? The most self-centered, idiotic person I have ever fucking met. You fuck my ex and you're fucking crying? Anyway, he said he applied serum so it's all good and I had to pay the full price. So now I'm just not gonna get my hair bleached for a couple of years, hopefully. Because it's so damaged and unhealthy right now, I just want to get my regular curl pattern back. Okay, so what I've done so far is I've colored uh, mostly all of my hair except like this front portion. Uh, I like took that portion out and I wanted to color it a different color. I don't know how well this is gonna go, how bad it's gonna go, but I'm just hoping for the best. Now as much as I would have loved to take you all to the shower with me for easy views, I don't know if my dad watches my videos and I would still like a roof over my head. Anyway, as you can see, this is my hair right out of the shower and it's majorly purple but the very front two bits are violet but you can't really see it in this. Of course I refer to Brad Mondo on how to give myself a wolf cut and I can't really explain what exactly I'm doing so I'm just gonna add a link to his video in the description. Okay, let me tell you, if you're gonna give yourself a wolf cut, be prepared to have your arms hurt all the time. I was struggling to cut my hair off properly, but it wasn't something new because I had the same difficulty when it comes to cutting toxic people out of my life. And while I was filming this, I actually had a breakdown because it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So then I just like went off camera to the whole entire process again and in the end, I got the results that I wanted so I am extremely happy. I'm like done with all the hair cutting but this is just me snapping on a few bits here and there so that it doesn't look bonky and it's kind of even. And for the final result, I'm just gonna go and get ready and be back in a few seconds. Although it was just a second for you, it was actually um, a little over a week for me. So this is me, two hair washes after getting in colored but I didn't use shampoo I mostly used uh, hair masks to wash my hair basically I got a PR gift from gloss kissed and I tried out their lip glosses and they were so nice if you're looking for a brand that's vegan ethically sourced materials clean and cruelty free you should definitely check them out like I love the formula they are not sticky like the kanda kind that ruins your entire day and plus they are super super pigmented their link is in the description please check them out if you're one of the people who watch my video till the end comment down a pizza emoji so that i know you're one of my true true besties i'll have all of my socials linked down below follow me on instagram because i'm pretty follow me on twitter because i have a lot of mental breakdowns and follow me on spotify because i have a superior taste in music than anybody else in this world it was so nice changing my hair color because a guy texted me late but actually midway he texted me back so I did this for nothing but at least I look pretty now so that's all that matters uh, yeah bye take care stay toxic um, ruin everyone's day I guess bye